Hi everyone, and welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. Here we are with Thomasina. We're in the Plough and Furrow, as we seem to be spending a lot of our time, which is probably the best place for us to be, to be honest. Uh, and we've just come across Tom Cross, Mr. Cross, is it Tom Cross, I think it was. Um, we, we thought it might have been Lord Painswick was Panswick, sorry, was in the uh, the pub uh, after we saw a very fine horse tied up outside in the alley. Um, but let's find a little bit more out about Mr. Cross here. He sounds like a performer. Hello there. Yes. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Cross. Are you a local, Mr. Cross? Oh, no. I'm just passing through. I'm a musician. Just myself, me guitar and me horse. Okay, he sounds like he's got a slight Liverpudlian twang. Are you a travelling musician? Aye. I've been playing a new song tonight. I've just finished the lyrics. What's it about? You'll have to come listen. Ah, is that your horse outside? Is that your horse stationed in the alley? Aye. Thistlecrack is her name. That's an unusual name for a horse. Aye. It were what she were called when I bought her. Glutton would be a better name. She likes her treats. But it feels wrong to change it. Okay. What brings you to Bewley? What do you make of Bewley? Can't say that I know much about this place. I don't usually travel this far south. I see. Do you know anything about Hobbs Barrow? Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? Can't say I have, miss. What is it? Never mind. Thank you for your time. Make sure you watch my performance later, won't you? Looking forward okay. to it. Right. Hi, Joe. Leonard. Right. Do we need to pick up any of that horse poo? Oh, hang on. No. Oh. These flowers look pretty. Someone must take good care of them. Are there any low-level um, window boxes which might have the flower in? No, they're quite high. They're all... There's none over there. Fresh Scotch eggs! No, okay. We'll go back to what we were doing. Uh, maybe use the rotten apple of the horse. Not sure why. The horse is not really... Oh, we'll keep the rotten apple for now. I certainly don't wish to touch it. Oh, okay. Well, let's move on then. Ah, oh, yes, this was it. We were looking to see if we could find any of this flirt wart. It should be down here somewhere, hopefully. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. Oh, can you see any flowers? No. Then they must... No, they can't be in the manor house, because we... We need to get the ointment first before we can get to the manor house, so... Where are we going to find that? Let's ask um, the maid if they've got any of that in the Hello. garden at the, Good day. the, the manor house. Do you have any milk for me, ma'am? Not yet, Miss Tompkins. Oh dear. No sign of Mr Ambrose? I'm afraid not. Hmm. Well, the only possible... What is that? Let's go and have a look and see if that's anything. No? No? Let's have a word with Cyril. See if he knows anything. Bugger off! That's a no. Oh, the <laughs> unmistakable charm of old Cyril. Yes, indeed. Right, um, maybe the train station. That is the only other place I can think where we maybe see some flowers on the way. Nothing on this part of the walk. And nothing obvious here. The tracks look quite untarnished. I don't think many trains come through here. Right. Um... I'm at a loss then at the moment. I really am. Maybe we can go look into the wood. We haven't seen Arthur for a bit, have we? We've been... Let's go back up here. This is where we found the, el found the elder flower, isn't it? Yeah, el that's the elder flower shrub. It'd be too easy if they were both in the same location, so okay. Let's head back into the wood. Although she distinctly said it was in potentially on a moor. I shan't be visiting the badgers again. I was lucky to escape intact. <laughs> oh. 
Um, nothing here. We've got the resin. Have we got anything? We haven't picked anything up, have we? No. We've got the elderflower for you. Yes. I have some elderflowers here. Show me. No, no, this is not elderflower. It's cowbane. Oh. An easy mistake to make. The two look very similar. Oh. It's safe to eat, as long as you're not a cow. Very toxic to cattle. Where can I find some elderflower? There used to be quite a few elder plants growing here in Hearn Wood, but they've long since gone. Nowadays, you might find the shrub growing within a hedgerow or a private garden. I see. What does elderflower look like? Elderflowers are small, white, and grow in clumps on the elder shrub. Elder shrubs can grow in all shapes and sizes. Just look out for the clumps of tiny white flowers. Right, okay. Farewell. So I'm guessing maybe that is something we needed to do. Uh, and before now, hopefully it will... Sp hopefully it will spawn um, what it is that we're looking for, the elder flower and the flow. Uh, what? Scanning. Well, we'll go back up here, see if there's any other mysterious white flowers that have just developed and grown. I've no use for the cowbane. Remember cowbane, it might be useful later. Um, right. Let's head past the church again, see if there's anything that way. Nothing in that hedgerow, nothing here. Oh! What were those dried flowers? Oh, hello. Mrs. De Plancy. Those have seen better days. If she's the flower ranger, maybe she knows where they are. Good day to you, pet. Hello, Mrs. De Plancy. If you're looking for Father Roach, he won't be back until tomorrow. Oh, where's he gone? Where's he off then? Where is Father Roach? You might have noticed the good father has a green thumb. He's gone to visit his friend in the countryside to purchase some seedlings for his tower garden. Tower garden? Where is Father Roach's tower garden? Why, on top of St. Edmund's, of course. Ah. He's got a lovely collection of cuttings up there. You'll have to ask him to show you. It does sound rather pleasant. It's a shame he's not around. Well, he does have a spare key for the tower door somewhere. Ooh. Do you know where it is? Do you know where Father Roach keeps his spare key? No, that's his business. If I did know, I'd fetch it myself and take you up there. Oh, bless her. Worry. I do recall him saying he hid it outside somewhere. For safekeeping, like. Were it in the graveyard? Oh, I don't know. Best wait till he gets back, pet. Okay. Um, did you know my father was here? I found out my father visited Bewley some 25 years ago. William Bateman. Perhaps you remember him? Bateman? William Bateman? I remember a William Baldwin. He were a right miserable sod. <laughs> my father was only in Bewley briefly, from what I understand. I'm trying to piece together what he was doing here. You'll have to ask him. I don't recall anyone of that name. Uh, the previous excavation. My father took part in an excavation at Hobbs Barrow. Do you recall the excavation? I concern myself only with matters related to the church. I'm sorry I can't be more helpful. That's okay. Uh, do you recognise these stones? What do you make of these stones? They are not Christian. I'm certain of that. I agree. Much older, I feel. Older than Christianity? Oh, the youth of today. Uh, box pews. These box pews are most unusual. I've never seen any quite so tall. We Bewley folk like our privacy. Many of the pews are owned by individual families. Some might accuse you of hiding secrets. Now, now, pet. I jest. At my age, it's hard to climb in and out of them. I'd rather stand. Uh, have you heard of the tales of Saxnot? Does the name Saxnot mean anything to you? Hmm. Is that a village near Erdlaw? No, never mind. 
Milk? Do you have any fresh milk going spare? I don't, pet. Not to worry. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. Right. So while she's not, well, she may she may do the uh, the flower arranging. I'm not sure. It needs a bit of work. Um, where would he keep Are any of these loose? In memory of George Paxton. Was there one to his father? This plaque is surrounded by cracking plaster. That's interesting that you should say that. It would take me a month of Sundays to scratch away the plaster with a knife. Oh, we've got a chisel though, haven't we? I think I can chip away at this plaster. Ooh, here we go. Hopefully Mr. Lacey doesn't come out and spot us doing this. Despite the cracks, the plaster is stronger than it looks. I can't break through it. Oh, okay. In memory of Peter Black. Is there one for his father here? In memory of William Ager. Looking for This plaque is surrounded by cracking plaster. Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no, it's AW. What about the other one? That's Kaz, okay. In memory of Barnaby Tillett. I'm going to see if there's one for Roach. In memory Roach. of Mabel Hurst. In memory of Percival Roach. In memory of Percival Roach. That doesn't have cracking plaster around it, though. I'm not sure what that would achieve. Okay, so it's these grey ones which got the plaster cracking. So what's this one? In memory of Romeo Hegg. Dearly missed by his beloved Juliet. Ah, there we go. This plaque is surrounded by cracking plaster. This might be the one. This might be the one. I think I can chip away at this plaster. He's a Shakespeare fan, you see. I think we'll have a bit of success this time. There's a key behind here. Yes. This has to be Father Roach's <laughs> Brilliant. Have we picked it up? Have we got it? Yes, good. Right. Let us... God, can you imagine if we tried to dig up that fresh grave? That'd be awkward. Capital. Right, what's he got in his tower garden then? Ah ha ha! I spy with my little eye something beginning with white potted plants. A small label on the pot reads "Flirtwort." This is just what I need. This is just what I need. Nice. Wild garlic, fennel, corn mint, borage—quite the collection. No um. Wild garlic, fennel, no. corn mint. Borage. Elderflower, though. Quite the collection. Hmm, okay. Well, we got one anyway. We just need to look at the hedgerows now for any um, elderflower. Again, I think it's the wrong... I think we're not in... Well, we might we be in the spring. The back. Oh, yes, yeah, good idea. There. I hope that stays on. Right, let's head over here then to see if there's anything in this hedgerow. Oh, I don't see anything. This is where the little girl was. Did we miss anything there? The Devil's Toe, a local landmark. Can we do it's anything with it? Peculiar name, the Devil's Toe. I can't quite see the resemblance myself. No. Right. Um, where are we going to get this blooming elderflower from? I think we've scaled every... Hedgerows, hedgerows, hedgerows. Have you seen any more hedgerows? I don't think there's much head in the way of hedgerows on the moor, is there? some hedges here oh maybe it's near the barrow let's let's head over to the barrow see if there's any hedgerows there I don't recall hmm. 
Oh, hang on, what Someone was Someone has carved the letters A- A-R. Yeah, okay. Any white flowers here? We, go, we can go past the barrow, or to some extent. Okay. No, no flowers in the hedgerows here, so we're, again, out of luck. Let's see if there's anything in the hedge around here. No. The goat's probably eating them if there was. No, we're out of luck. We'll find it. Don't worry, we'll find it. Uh, do we still have that trowel? We do. Can we dig up the fresh grave? Maybe a barrow digger, but I'm no grave robber. Okay, that's a no then. <laughs> Just in case, you never know. There may have been some secrets there. Hmm. So the other flower is eluding us, unfortunately. Check out this hedge. No, nothing there. Is the is he back? This is the guy who loves the trains. Mr. Long mustn't be in. Ah, uh, okay. Let's ask around, see if anyone knows where some elderflower is. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. Oh, okay. Leonard, do you know where elderflower Hello is? Hello again, Mr. Shoulder. Miss Bearman. Thank uh, you for your time. I'll come back to you. Hi, Miss Bearman. We will speak more later. Ah, uh, where is this elderflower? This could be the curse that undoes everything. Don't see anything here. Oh. Nobody home. Go go gadget arms. And this is out the on the moor. Disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. But there might be something out there. Hmm. Right. Maybe we need to take stock. Let's have a look. On our to-do list, so investigate the folklore. I should find out more about the stories connected to what Hobbs Barrow. Find workmen for my excavation. Without Kenneth, there's no... S <laughs> Kenneth is the worm that died in our pocket. Um, there is no source local workmen to aid with my excavation. I shall have to do it myself. Find milk for Miss Tompkins. Mr Ambrose, the milkman, has gone missing. Lord Painswick or Panswick housemaid has agreed to introduce me to his lordship if I can provide her with some fresh milk. To get the fresh milk I need Mr Bryden to milk the goats but Mr Bryden is unable to milk his goat due to his aching joints. Where I must be wary I can help him with this. There must be a way I can help him with this. With, with this. My goodness get tongue tied all of a sudden. Gather the ingredients for the poultice so we need to bring me, me, we need to bring Mildred Walker some flirt wood, wart, which we've got, and some elderflower, which we do not have, so she can make a poultice for Mr. Bryden's uh, aches and pains. And to fix the fiddle bow, we could mend this for a girl up devil's toe. The bow is lacking string, which we need animal hair. Ooh, the horse. Horse hair, isn't it? Can we can we pull it? Let's never pull a horse's tail. Um, Fine specimen. She's well looked after. Can I cut a bit of hair off the uh, the tail? I think so. Hmm. Horse hair would make fine bows. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> she almost took my head off. Yeah. What about the what? Well, we. What about the. The apple. Hey girl, would you like an apple? She's 
She is completely indifferent. Perhaps the apple is too spoiled for her liking. Okay. Um, do you want to eat cow's bane? I don't wish to feed this to the horse. Okay. Well, you never know. It's not. It's not cow, is it? So. Um... I'd rather not go into those horrible toilets again. Right. Let's ask the uh, magician. See if we can have some horse hair. You might have a brush with someone else or something, aren't they? There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. Oh God, Dosh got. Honestly, um, every little avenue we go to, there's no one else here in the bar. Um, oh, sugar cubes. Horses love sugar cubes. I already took one. Okay. Yes, of course, sugar cubes. Right, let's give the sugar cube to the horse. Here, girl. Eat this. Yeah, she liked that. Good girl. Hopefully that's gained some trust between us. Right, let's try cutting off a bit of her tail again then. I've managed to cut off a few lengthy strands. Nice. Right, okay, we've got we've gone our way in. So if we get the horse hair with the wax. waxy resin this should make sufficient bowstring now brilliant so we've got bowstring put that on the fiddle I've there we go it. the bowstring seems to hold on sufficiently maybe the little girl knows where the um elderflower is uh how do we get to her quickly i think that's past the church isn't it oh jane Hello, Jane. Miss, watch me juggle. Brilliant. Very impressive. I can juggle even more apples. I dare you to juggle an extra apple. Here we go. Easy. What's this puzzle going to be? I'm not quite sure. Oh, oh, wow, look at that. She's got real talent, this one. Told you I could do it. Here's your apple back. I'm very impressed. Has she... Oh, no, she's given us the mouldy old apple back. Okay, well, not sure what that was, but there we go. Maybe there's juggling will need to come into it later date. I'm not quite sure, but um, for now... We head out onto the moor to see if we can find the little fiddling girl. That sounds wrong. The, the little blonde girl who has the fiddle. There she is. Look what I have for you. Well, there we go. A little bit more energetic than I was expecting. Gosh, she's going for it. Oh, the sky is turning pink. Always a bad sign in my experience. <laughs> 